it's so good to be able to share with you all this morning and um, I would like to take this chance to also thank the people that have done their devotion so far and I found that really a blessing and I look forward to the ones that are to come. Um, for me, this last couple of weeks, I've been thinking about Thanksgiving um, and about with all that's going on and about how grateful I am for the things that God has placed in my life. And I'm thankful for the fact that I live in Australia. I'm thankful for that I, that I live on a farm. I'm thankful for my family around me. And I look at the situation of others and know that others have got it much tougher than I do. Sometimes thankfulness comes easy and sometimes it's really hard, especially when things are not going well. In Leviticus, um, the Bible talks about uh, a thanksgiving offering or a thanksgiving sacrifice. Um, in Hebrews 13, it says that we continually offer up a th sacrifice of praise or a sacrifice of thanksgiving. To bring a sacrifice of thanksgiving means to sacrifice our understanding of what we think is beneficial and thank God for everything because he is kind and loving. A sacrifice of thanks lays down our perspective and raises our hands in praise anyway, always. A sacrifice by definition is not an easy thing, but it is a sacred thing. Don't ever forget the fall of man from Adam and Eve stemmed from their thanklessness for all the things that God had given them and their resentfulness of the one thing that he did not. So let us be thankful for all that God has given us despite our circumstances. And remember, we give thanks to God not because of how we feel or what we have or what we don't have, but because of who God is. Heavenly Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for the things we do have and Lord, for the things that we don't. And Lord, we give you honour and praise and thank you because of who you are and because you are good. Amen.